Hi, my name is Atif and welcome to Android App Development Series. In this video, we will learn how to convert a JSON string to a Kotlin data class using a plugin within Android Studio. Open Android Studio, click Android Studio, Settings, and uh, uh, from right panel, click Plugins, and from tab, click Marketplace, Search json to kotlin and uh, here is the plugin click install button to install this plugin you can check the overview about this plugin and click install button it will take some time to install after installation completion click install tab and uh, make sure the plugin is installed and uh, is enabled after that click apply button and uh, then click ok button we can also use this plugin using shortcut key click ok right click on package and uh, click new there is an option kotlin data class file from json click that now we need to copy the json we want to convert to model class or data class paste the json string here you may click format button if you are not seeing the json setting in a proper format and uh, type the class name for example main user click advanced button there are a lot of options available which you can change according to your need for example keyword should be value or variable now click other tab there is an important option available enable inner class model if we select this option it will create all classes within a single class which we have named main user click generate to generate the model data class class open main user class as you can see it has created two more data classes within the main user data class instead of creating them as separate file in our package right click on package click new click kotlin data class file paste the json stream click format and uh, this time the name of class will be let's post my my user click advanced button and move to other tab and this time uncheck the option enable inner class model so it will create each class as a separate file click generate button and uh, now we can see it has created each class as a separate class instead of creating inside the my user class okay i think enough to explain from my side now try other options yourself and uh, let me know in the comments if you find this useful or have any issue while using it let me know if you also want the same for java